Hey guys, Video Fort Colin here, and today we're going to be going over how to keyframe in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014. So today I'm going to be using this clip of a sailboat in Hawaii from videofort.com. Now, I like this clip, but I wish the shot would start out close to the sailboat and slowly back out to the wide shot. So, I need to add camera motion digitally. This is often referred to as the Ken Burns effect. So today we are going over how to change Eclipse properties, but keyframing can also be applied to any audio or video effect. So to start out, click your clip that you want to change and go to Effects Controls. Now under that, make sure your Motion drop-down menu is open, and you want to click the little animation toggle switches next to Position and Scale. And right then you can see your keyframes will pop up and a keyframe track will open. So as I said before, I would like my shot to start out in a close-up to the sailboat and slowly back out. So I'm going to bump up my scale to 278 here. You can do it to whatever you want, all depending on how much you would like your camera to be zoomed in. Now the most detailed and accurate way to make a keyframe track is using your right key on your keypad. And every time you move to the side and you change the value of the position or scale, it's going to add a keyframe in, as you can see right here. So as my clip gets farther and farther along, I want to get closer and closer to the number 100, meaning it's 100% in the frame. By putting my last keyframe at 1423, I just told the software that at 1423, I would like my shot to be completely wide. 